Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the video tutorials on the course Foundations of Mathematics. In this video, I'll be doing part one of the first chapter, Statements and Logic. The title of this video tutorial is Statements. In this video tutorial, I'll be talking about statements and negation of a statement. At the end of this video, you should be able to identify statements and negate statements. So let's see what are statements. I'll begin with uh, a few sentences and what we will do is uh, we will try to check whether the given sentences are true or false or both true or false or neither true nor false. All right. So let me take the first example. Panjim is the capital city of Goa. We know that this statement is true. Okay. So this, uh, I mean, this sentence can be classified as a true sentence. Second one, Goa has three districts. We know that Goa has two districts. So this sentence, I can classify it as a false statement. Okay. X plus 5 is equal to 14. Now, to see whether this is true or false, uh, it depends on the value of X. Okay. Now, if X is 1, then this sentence is false. Whereas, if X is 9, this sentence is true. So, if X takes any value other than 9, this sentence is going to be false. But at a given time, it will be either true or false. Exactly one of these two things has to happen, either true or false. It cannot be both true and false at the same time. Okay. So, this sentence is either true or false depending on the value of x but not both. So, it cannot be both true as well as false. Alright. Next one, biology is an easy subject. Now, uh, if I start uh, asking people whether biology is an easy subject or no, some of the some of the people will definitely say it's an easy subject but there'll be quite a few who will say it is not an easy subject so this is an opinion okay so i cannot classify this sentence as true or false okay the next one the number of students studying tybsc mathematics in goa is 100 so, to check whether this is true or false, what I'll do is, I will count all the students who are studying third year BSc Mathematics in Goa and I will check whether the total number of students is 100 or no. If it is 100, then this sentence is true. If it is not 100, then it is false. So, exactly one of either true or false has to happen. Okay. So, this sentence is either true or false, but it cannot be both. The next one, the sentence I am reading is false. If I uh, assume that this, uh, this sentence is true, then it also means that it is false. So, it is both true as well as false at the same time. And if I assume that it is false, then it turns out to be true. So again, it is both true as well as false. Okay. So we have seen some sentences here which are true, some sentences which are false, some sentences which are either true or false but not both and some sentences which are both true as well as false. Okay. Now, by a statement in mathematics, I mean a sentence which is which can be classified as either true or false, but not both or in between. Okay, so uh, in mathematics, a statement is a sentence which can which you can classify as either true or false, 
exactly one of true or false not both or anything in between now if i go back to these sentences and if i try to see the first sentence here panjim panji is the capital city of goa it's a true sentence so it's a statement okay so the first one is a statement the second one is false so it is also a statement because it can be classified as a false sentence the third one is either true or false exactly one of them so this is also a statement but if you look at the fourth one biology is an easy subject i cannot classify this statement as true or false i mean i cannot classify this sentence as true or false so this is not a statement okay the next one it it is either true or false at the same time so it cannot be both so it is exactly one of either true or false so this is a statement and the last one again uh, it is both true as well as false so it is not a statement okay so by a statement in mathematics i mean a sentence which is either true or false but not both let us look at some more examples root 11 is a, a rational number we know that root 11 is an irrational number so this sentence is a false sentence so this is a statement if i look at this one sachin is the best cricketer again this uh, it's a opinion so some people will say sachin is the best cricketer some people will say it's sachin is not the best cricketer so i cannot classify this sentence as true or false so this is not a statement third one every continuous real valued function is differentiable now this uh, this is the uh, one of the results that you all have done in your first year calculus course and we know that this is false because if you look at mod x that's continuous on r but it's not differentiable so this is a false state sentence so that's a statement okay now we know what is a statement let's see what is the negation of a statement now supposing i give you all one statement say some statement s say now because it is a statement it can be either true or false one of them if it is true then corresponding to that statement i can find one more statement which will be false when the given statement is true or in the second case if the given statement is false then corresponding to that statement i can find one more statement which is true when the given statement is false all right so for any given statement s there is another statement which is defined to be true statement when s is false and false when s is true this statement is called the negation of the statement s and is denoted by not s okay so given any statement say s if s is true then i can corresponding to this statement s i can find one more statement which is which will be false when s is true and if s is false corresponding to this s which is false now i can definitely find one more statement which will be true when s is false that is not s okay so if i give you one statement s now i can find its negation now supposing uh, the given statement is s and uh, i find its negation is not s now if i uh, further negate the statement not s that is obtained here what am i going to get supposing the statement s was true so the not s the statement will be false and because this is false its negation will be true and that will be same as s all right so for any statement s exactly one of s and not s is true if s is true then this not s will be false and if s is false not s is going to be so for any statement s exactly one of s and not s will be true if s is true then not s will be false and if s is false 
not s will be true okay also if i uh, if uh, s is the negation of not s that is s and not of not s you find the negation first and of the negation you again find the negation that is going to give you the same statement that you started with okay so s and not of not s they convey the same meaning let's quickly look at a couple of examples if i give you a statement s which reads i went to mall di goa on monday so what will be negation of this one so this statement which is negation it has to be true when the given statement is false and it has to be false when the given statement is true so the negation of this one will be not s and that will be i did not go to mall di goa on monday okay now if i give you one more statement uh, t say and the statement says 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 we know that this statement is false so what is going to be the negation of this statement will it be 5 plus 3 equal to 8 no in that case we are changing the statement okay so if i have the statement 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 its negation would be 5 plus 3 is not equal to 9 and not 5 plus 3 equal to 8 okay i hope that's clear uh, one more the solar system has five planets so this is a false statement and its negation would be the solar system does not have five planets okay so given any statement i can find its negation if the given statement is true then the negation will be false and if the given statement is false then the negation will be true okay these are the references that i used thank you